Hey folks, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are doing well. Today's video is going to be a bandana styling video. I've wanted to do this video since about summertime, but uh, I tend to wear bandanas a lot come the fall, so I thought kind of now would be a good time to do this video. A lot of bandanas are square, so if any of these are not square shape, I will definitely tell you. The first thing I wanna show you, because this is gonna come in handy a lot throughout this process, is sort of how to fold your square bandana. So the way most people fold their bandana is sort of like this, but the problem with this is you always have this little flap kind of sticking out. So I'm gonna show you how to avoid that uh, and fold it a bit differently. So you're gonna to wanna to start off by laying your square out flat and then you're gonna bring in the one side just like that. Then you're gonna bring the other side down just like that and then you're going to fold in once on the one side, fold in once on the other side and then that is essentially where you fold it in half and then you will have no sort of flappy sticking out, that kind of thing. Another tip for this would be um, if you want to, you know, if this is the way you're gonna wear your bandana for sure, then you could take your hair straightener, if you don't have an iron, and just straighten that into place so that it's nice and set. So this first one is a neck bandana. So the way we're gonna start off is hold the bandana like this and then you're going to put it on your neck. Now when you get to the back, it will look like this and you're going to cross your bandana and bring it back around to the front. You should have something that looks like this and I'm just gonna pull my hair out. Then what you're going to do is tie a knot. So this is the first way that you could wear your bandana. This would look really cute if you were wearing like a t-shirt and some shorts and something really, really casual. Okay, so this next one is one of my favorite ways to wear a bandana just because it's so simple, so easy. We're gonna do what we did last time and we're still gonna have our bandana in this shape, except this time, instead of going from the front, we're actually gonna go from the back. You're gonna make sure that your ties are even. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tie a knot as close to your neck as possible, like so. And then we're going to, of course, double knot that so that it doesn't come loose. I like to do it a little off-centered like such. And this is look number two. Okay, so look number three is essentially very, very, very similar to this. This this look is to me is very French. Now we're going to do sort of the same thing, but this is a lot more Western. So you're going to do the same thing, but we're gonna do the end of the tie much, much lower. This is the way that I typically like to wear my bandana, much more casual. Okay, so the folding technique for this next one is you're gonna start with your square and you're gonna fold edge to edge. Essentially, you are turning your square into one large triangle. Now this one is when I typically think of like how to wear a bandana kind of thing, this is I guess what I think of. So all I'm doing in the back is I am just double knotting it. So you should have something that looks like this. And you can wear this sort of as tight as you want to your neck or as loose as you want. And I would just play with it a little bit. But yes, this is the typical like bandana look that I think of when I do think of wearing one. For this next style, you can either, if you have bangs, you can either keep them out or you can tuck them in. It's really, really up to you. But we're going back to our folded up little bandana. If y'all hear like squeaking in this chair, so squeaky. Okay, see, oh my goodness. So you're gonna wanna go behind your bangs. Essentially all you do is wanna bring it up and you're sort of hiding the back um, of your ear. You guys, I got my ears pierced. I got second holes. Essentially what we're going to do is the knotting thing again. I used to do this when I was in college all the time. I used to wear my hair like this. I had this like pink silk bandana. I used to wear it like this all the time. This is so cute. And also show you little earrings. I've got some earrings on now. I'm, I'm turning into a jewelry gal. What can I say? This next style is really great if you're sort of in a rush. What I'll usually do is I'll like put a curl in my bangs which takes me like two seconds. And then what I'll do with the rest of my hair, so I'm gonna pull it into the back and you can use, if you want, like a little 
elastic. So you can do this if you really want your hair to like last all day. So I will say that one thing I noticed with this style is if you don't put like a, a little elastic in, if you're wearing it all day, sometimes your bandana will slip um, and then your hair kind of comes undone. You're gonna wanna put your bandana behind, tie a knot like such. You kind of look put together, but you didn't really have to put any effort into the back of your head. So for this next one, I'm gonna again leave out my bangs. We're gonna bring our hair to one side. We're just gonna do a messy quick braid. If you don't know how to braid, essentially, you're gonna make three pieces. You're just gonna keep wanting to bring the piece under. So, so you see this piece? See how I'm bringing it under the middle piece? See this piece? bringing it under the middle piece. So I've gone ahead and just started the braid. I've done a couple. It doesn't matter where, I just fished it through literally whatever was closest first. So now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna add one piece of the bandana to one piece of hair and the other piece of the bandana to another piece of hair. So you're gonna have one, one section that's not gonna have a bandana in it and then you're just gonna keep continuing on. To stop this, we're actually gonna tie the bandana together. What I would do now is sort of go in and just pull out certain sections and just to make it look a little bit messier. This looks so cute with this outfit. I love this. So for this next one, I'm just taking some of the hair from the top of my head. So that's your first step. You wanna put your hair in some sort of top knot, bun, ponytail. We're doing that same technique where we did at the back of our head. You can totally do this with a top knot too. It doesn't really matter what you do. For this next one, I'm going to switch bandanas and I'm just gonna show you how to work with sort of a larger square bandana. So to do this look, we're doing that same sort of triangle, triangular, excuse me, um, folding method. So we're just gonna be left with a big triangle. Again, I am just separating my bangs. So you have your large triangle bandana and I will usually hold it like this and then flip it over onto the top of my head. Tie this together, two knots. I'm just gonna kind of fluff this hair a little bit. I love this, I think it looks really cute. This is that look. Okay, so the last one was sort of a bigger square scarf. I wanna show you guys how to work with a scarf like this because scarves like this, they are so easy to find, so easy to come by. I just started by folding it in half and then from there folding it in half again and then I was sort of left with this. I like leaving it this width, but you could go a little bit smaller if you'd like. Going to sort of put it over my head, make sure that your ends line up. And then in the back, we're just going to do a knot, and then we're going to tie a bow. Now, this is where you'll go ahead and you'll fix the front. I like to pull one side of this forward. So this is sort of my little bow tie one. So what we're gonna do is split our hair down the back. So we're gonna have all our hair pull forward. And we're going to put our bandana around our neck. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and pin one side of the bandana to my hair. And that's just so it doesn't move while we're working with this side of the bandana. I'm gonna leave some space at the front and I'm gonna grab a little bit of hair here in the middle and create two sections. The bandana will be our third section. And then we're gonna do a braid, sort of like we did the last time. Now it helps if you have an elastic that's like similar color to your bandana. Should have something that looks like that. Now you need to go ahead, mimic that on this side. I'm just gonna take that hair clip out. You're gonna bring your bandanas up the top of your head and you're gonna tie them 
together and they should sort of meet where you've put the elastic so that we won't actually see those. Okay, so there we have our little headband. I think it's super cute. Just sort of like a little bit of a twist on your typical like little top knot kind of thing. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something new. I wanted to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is a online learning community where there are more than 30,000 classes and there is everything from like film and video to illustration. Of course, you guys know I'm a huge fan of home decor. I'm a huge fan of DIY. Anything I can DIY for my home, I'm sold on it. So I've been really wanting to learn um, macrame. So the course that I'm going to recommend to you guys is called Create a Macrame Wall Hanging Using Five Easy Knots by Peggy Dean. This is something I have wanted to learn for some time now. So Skillshare is kind of the perfect place to keep on learning. So if you guys would like to join me and more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare, you can click the link in my description box as Skillshare is giving my subscribers a free unlimited access two months trial. And once that free membership up, it is only 10 bucks a month. So it is definitely worth it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.